Hello and welcome to another webinar about PS Connect. Today we're going to go through the various translation options available to you in PS Connect. One of the first options is something that not a lot of people are aware of at all, is that messages that you send from PS Connect can be translated into a variety of different languages. So if you're on the home page, all you need to do is search at the top right hand corner. And if you search for a pupil, this will bring up their uh, student report. And on this page, you'll have various different things. This is a, a complete audit trail of everything that you've previously sent regarding that pupil and everything that you've received regarding the pupil. There's also some attendance information as well. On this page, as default, there is a language option towards the bottom. And you'll see that there. So it's near blocking in language and you can choose a different language from this option. And if you've chosen a different option and clicked go, that will say, so future messages that you send regarding that pupil in this example will be in Malay. There's also a different option as well. So underneath my ed, there's an option for translate ed. So this is an app that's available for tablet devices using iOS or Android, and that allow you to type in real time and translate communication. So if you're in a face-to-face -face meeting with a parent who uh, only speaks French, you can use translate ed to type something out, which will be translated into French, and then they can type in French, and then that is translated back into English. So the first thing to do is to set yourself up a, a translation account. So underneath my ad, go to Translate Ed, and you'll see a box called Translation Accounts. And once you're in there, you'll see various different accounts that we already have set up. But what I want to do is create a new one. So we click into there, and we give a location. So this, this location will just help you if you're wanting to know which iPad or which Android tablet is connected to this account. So in this example, what we'll say is this is a PE um, theory room iPad. And I would like the password to be this. And click go. So I can see there then the, the PE theory room iPad has been set up and it's created me um, an, a user ID. So I just need to make a note of that in this example. Yours will be different for each account that you set up. And obviously remember your password as well. So now if you flip over onto your Android tablet or your iOS device, you're going to go into the App Store. And then at the top corner there, you're going to search for an app called Translate Ed. And it should be one of the only apps that open up. So I've previously downloaded this one, which is why it says open. But you would see um, a get or an install option. So once you've done that, open it up. And the first thing to do is just tap one of the languages. So these languages here are ones that use the, uh, the standard English QWERTY keyboard. So if you tap Welsh, it's going to ask me for login details. So then we type in our login details there. And then, of course, your password. And then this will now allow you to translate into the language that you chose. In our case, this was Welsh. And that will translate into Welsh. So if you tap on back to start, as I said, these are languages that use the standard English QWERTY keyboard. But if you want to translate into a different language, you just read through the notes here it runs through. So tap and hold the globe key on the keyboard to list all enabled international keyboards. So on my keyboard, I'm already set up with a Norse keyboard. Tap on that. And you'll see the keyboard has now changed to a Norwegian keyboard. And obviously it knows, so it allows us to translate into Norwegian. And again, we can say hello. 
Norwegian, and it will translate that into Norwegian on there. And then if we tap into this box, we get the Norwegian keyboard, and we can tap, tap out, hello, and it translates back into English. If you use an alternative language, or a different keyboard, sorry, you go into settings on your device, and under general, if we go down to keyboard, you can see all the keyboards there, and then you can add a different keyboard. These are all the different languages. This will be limited by the device's ability to use a different keyboard. So the translation messages that you do, that you send out uh, via the system in uh, normal circumstances, if they're translated into a different language, the parent receives them in a different language. When they reply in that language, the replies are also uh, sent back to you in English. And then there's this additional translate ed tool. Uh, hopefully, these two things will help you better communicate with your parents and allow them, which is very important, to communicate back to you as well. Thanks very much for watching. There will be more videos coming very soon running through different aspects of PS Connect and also our other system, PS Assets, which is an asset management system.